think it all started with uh, probably the 11-year-old uh, attempting suicide and I think that's what kind of shook me last month um, and uh, within a day of that, I think, uh, just before a day, I think, was the engineering student who took his life. So I think those two events sort of catapulted this whole workshop and, you know, created a certain sense of urgency to have a meeting. Uh, if, the, if the workshop has served the purpose of raising a lot of questions, raising anxieties and causing us to think, I think it served its purpose because no... So, uh, may I request all of you to, uh, you know, before starting the program to just have a minute silence, um, just to sort of... You know, but what we need to do probably is, you know, modulate that and, and develop something that's more, uh, you know, it is to our community and something that would be having that degree of uh, expertise. And what is uh, unfortunate is that the suicide rate in India has been increasing rapidly in the last two decades. Just two decades back it was about 6.7 or 7 per 100,000. And now in 2010 it is 7.5. Suicide for intervention and prevention workshop. I think it is a very important day for the arts to take up this program. It is extremely important. And I am extremely happy that all of you are here with your different specialities, which is very, very important. At Nimhas, the most important aspect is we have experts from different areas. And we are now looking at the suicide from a different perspective. That is what is extremely, extremely important. Why today is the first? Ashmi Vijay Kumar has already mentioned that there is an increasing incidence of suicides in the country, which can deliver on the public 24 hours service. This is the question we are talking about. So the whole student group, about 100 students probably come together with the consultants backing them. I'm sure we'll be able to run this helpline in a more effective way. I have to deliver 24 hours service. That is what I'm thinking about. It's just uh, because he's in, in charge. It's not that it's a nice <laughs> He's the next HOD anyways. So that's good. Thank you very much, sir. Um, the one reason we went in for the flowers to what might be the best way in which we can provide, uh, you know, some some sort of assistance in addressing this problem. Um, you know, looking at it, one of the things that was very was apart from the fact that there's a paucity of resources, again something that I've actually pointed out in terms of the number of mental health professionals. But I think as a group, uh, there are lots of NGOs that do a lot of work. So we.
this caller ID issue uh, would it sort of actively prevent from providing 